What's good, YouTube? It's your boy BWFX back at it again with another weekly market forecast, right? So, um, I hope you guys have been paying attention to the last few um, market forecasts that I've been dropping because they've been smacking back to back to back to back. Literally, if you just been paying attention and look for the things that I tell you guys to look for, you definitely could have made um, some good profits for the week. So, um, I'm gonna just go over US 30. And then we'll go over uh, gold and ass as well. So here for US 30, you can see on the monthly time frame, we got four days before this monthly candle closes this month. So I'm pretty eager to see how we're going to close at the end of this week. Are we going to close um, with a lot of bearish momentum, like how we had last month to end the month? Or are we going to close with like a doji or if this turns bullish to end the month? So that's something that we got to pay attention to uh, on the weekly time frame. We can see here that we we maintain this level of support right here we ended the week with a bullish type variation um not a lot of bullish momentum but it let us know that there are buyers in the market currently at this area so i can definitely see price potentially pushing up to about 33 350 area potentially um if we continue this buyer's momentum on the smaller time frames so on our daily time frame Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, like we talked about last week. Um, we had this level of support here that was being maintained. Um, and then that's where we got that push, that impulse, then we got a correction, and then we kind of got a, like a continuation to um, end the week last week. So if I look at this on a smaller time frame, you can see here on the four hour, we broke these structure levels here. So these were all lower high points throughout this area, then we had an impulse break, a correction, and now we look to potentially get that continuation. Also, we're forming higher highs, I mean higher highs, higher low points throughout this area here. So now I'm going to just turn on my chart so you can pretty much see what I'm looking at. So um, to end the week last week, like I said, we were at this level, we had this negative 27, we had an impulse push, then we had our correction. Um, the overall account build that I did, that if you guys pay attention to me on uh, Instagram, um, I took the 1K to 10K in three days. It will stem from these three, um, I mean, from these setups right here. So the very first setup was the selling opportunities that I gave you guys um, last week. And then also to end the week, um, it was this buy opportunity right here. So, um, that was definitely like a. That was definitely like a. All right, sorry, somebody had came and knocked this door. So, um, like I was saying, though, to end the buy, to end the week, we had this buy that we took advantage of. Um, that was pretty much pretty self-explanatory. Just a descending channel leading to a level of support. The impulse broke, corrected, and then we caught the buy up to the next zone. So now what I'm looking for for the overall week, I was looking for price to potentially come up to this trend line and reject it to pull back down to this area. And it's the first area I would be looking for buys at because simply if we look at this structure, we had an impulse, correction, continuation, correction, continuation, and we broke that down to the structure with a brand new impulse. So now um, I was looking for price to pull back into this zone and I needed to see how price reacted at this area. But this is the very first move. Um, I need to see if price is going to continue to push down past this blue zone and potentially to this white zone simply because technically um, we're still in this overall like downtrend on overall major structure. So if I look at it like this, impulse correction, continuation correction, and then we could be in our overall continuation. So um, there is a chance that price could continue to push down from this area, but on a minor structure, I'm potentially looking for buys if we could um, respect this level or respect this level right here and then get us a bullish overall continuation. But like I said, I talk about this in all my calls. Um, you really want to focus on the right now money, um, not looking too far into the future. So right now, the move is price selling down into the zone. So we already started to push. Um, I wish I would have took a sell opportunity at this area. Um, but the price never came up to that trend line like I was talking about. So um, right now, if you're watching this video, um, you might be a little late to the party unless we get a correction and then get a continuation on down. But like I said, overall, I'm looking for a buying opportunity. So now we got a point A here. 
to a point B to draw a brand new fib here. So if price pulls back to like 38.2 and maintains or 23.6, then we could look to carry it up to negative 27. But we need to see if price maintains that area first. So that's what I have for overall US 30 um, for the week. And then let's go to gold. So gold has actually been a real smooth pair for the last like few weeks or a few days, I should say. Um, but I don't trade gold anymore. I simply just do this. I do the markups on here for you guys. Um, here on gold, we can see that we had this main level of resistance. So this was a main level at 1990 area. Um, we can see here every time price came here, it pushed down, it pushed down. So there's a high probability chance that we could push down if we think about it. The all time high on gold is 2076. So you gotta be real mindful of that and when thinking like, oh, price is just gonna continue buying forever. Like we reach an all time, potentially almost at our all time high. So we are not gonna just see a, a brand new high without like some sort of pullback. So we could see potentially price pulling back before continuing um, in this overall uptrend. Now on a daily time frame, clear as day, we in this overall uptrend, we was in this previous downtrend, we then broke that structure, impulse corrected, continued. So now we're forming a series of higher highs and higher lows on a daily time frame. Four hours pretty much telling us the same story, uptrend. So now if we go back to the chart, illustrate that. Also we can see here that we hit this negative 61.8 multiple times and then to end the week last week, we failed to make a new high. So you see how we have this high point here and then we fail to make a new high to end the week so that's an indication that the market could potentially be pushing down from this area because it had a failed high attempt so um just got to definitely be mindful of that uh, on a four hour we have this trend line Take, for me i'm not looking for selling opportunities until we break beneath this like structure low right here which is this level of support break and retest this trend line and then we could potentially carry it down to this green zone right here. However, if we respect this trend line, bounce, and then we can look for a potential push. So you got two scenarios here on gold. Um, so I'm going to type out here, watch price at this trend line. And you just pretty much need to base your judgment off of that. So if price continues to respect and is maintaining the higher low point at that area, then you'll be looking for overall buys. However, if we break beneath um, this little level, this minor level of support here, and then retest the trend line as well, then you could be looking to carry it down to this level of support, which is this green trend line or green line that I have right here. So two different scenarios on gold that you can um, take advantage of. And then, um, also, you could take advantage of this like trend line here. If it breaks above, retest, then you know you got a cool buy for that. So, um, y'all pretty much know what to do. The, the I'd say the same things over and over, week in and week out, just waiting on the break and the retest. So it's all about being patient, guys. So make sure you're not too antsy. Um, today is Sunday. You don't have to take a trade as soon as the market opens. Like you don't have to just be so like thirsty like to get in the market right you just want to wait on your ideal setups and let the market come to you and plus like if you trade gold you trade us 30 trade nas more than likely like you're not going to trade that if it's out of new york session right so let this let the pairs gather some data and um form structure and then attack them during the sessions that they move the most which is new york session and like pre pre New York session, right? So definitely take advantage of those. So this is what I have overall um, for gold. I believe last week, this is a markup that I had and this ended up pulling back down to the zone and then continued on buying. So um, let's go to NAS. NAS, this was the, the ghost pattern I had at the beginning of last week. And you can see that played out perfectly. Um, so let's clear this off and go to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame looks great. We got a lot of bullish momentum. We have bullish candle, bullish candles. So we had two series of bullish candles on weekly time frame, closing above this level of resistance. That's letting us know that there's a lot of buyers inside of the market. Um, on NAS 100, 
on a daily time frame, pretty much tell us the same thing. Remember I talked about this zone right here in the last couple calls, it might have been like volume six or volume seven. Um, I talked about this price getting broken and then we came back to retest and now we got that continuation. So impulse, correction, continuation. This has been playing out beautiful. Um, on a four hour time frame, we can see here um, clear uptrend, but we're starting to get like a pattern. So um, let me just clear this off real quick and then uh, we have this like ascending channel pattern, which lets me know that there's a potential reversal inside of the market happening. So you want to wait for this, wait for this to finish. Wait for price to finish its channel before taking sales. So if you're a student inside the blueprint course, you already know how to play this. Um, you're just waiting on your structure uh, to confirm that this overall ascending channel is now finished. So definitely take note of that. Um, here on the one hour, we had a failed high attempt as well. So we had this like trend line here. Um, so I could see price pulling back. So what I'm gonna give y'all for the right now money is something like this, where you get like a, a little pullback back down into this level of resistance right here. So look for this to pull back and then you need to see, okay, is it gonna break beneath? this structure low here and retest this trend line and then you could carry it down but if it comes here and respects this trend line then you could look to continue to buy it on up but remember like i said we are inside of this channel so you got to be mindful of that because that is uh, a reversal pattern so um i don't trade nas anymore so i don't really keep up with it too much but like i said guys um just wait on your confirmations and let the market tell you what it's about to do next like don't try to predict the market simply just react to it so when the moment that you guys become reactive to the market instead of trying to predict every single move is the moment that you um can develop a lot more consistency because now you're waiting on your setup to occur instead of trying to force your setup to be there with it when it's not so you simply you're just waiting on price to do what you needed to do then you ultimately um, will be a lot more profitable simply by just waiting. So a lot of people in trading, they don't wait. And that's why they lose trades because they enter too premature. So definitely be patient with this week, guys. Take your setups as they, um, as they, they form and don't try to rush the process. Just embrace the, embrace the journey and understand that this is all an art. So um, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys, and I will see you all in the next video.